Hey everybody, what's up? Average Guy Gamer here, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 4. It feels like it's been a while since I've uh, been on here. I mean, it's been since last Friday, since I actually recorded the last. And that was the LAPD vs. Zombie. So if you haven't seen that, link will be in the description. Uh, be sure to check it out. It's kind of a short video when it crashed several times, so... I'll definitely recreate it when I get a new computer, which should be in the next few weeks. Um, I feel like I said that a hundred times, but anyways, that's not important. Today, what I'm doing is going to be doing another tutorial for you guys, because it has just become like more popular than I ever thought it would be. That tutorial video that I made, part one, it's gotten like 200 views in the last seven days or something like that. I mean, it's like it's becoming more popular now than it is, or than it was when I first released it. So, anyways. Uh, this is how to play LCPDFR. If you haven't seen that first part, I'm going to try to fill you in. Whatever, you'll be fine. So, you just kind of leave your apartment. You're going to hit Alt and P at the same time. It's going to come up. Welcome to LCPDFR. Go to the nearest police station to go on duty. So, if you're starting out here in Broker, there's one just right down the street from the apartment. So, of course, you can just go there. You can go to whichever one's closest to you, depending on where your safe house is or... Or whatever if you've uh, progressed some in the story mode of Grand Theft Auto. But anyways, I know a lot of people are probably going to be getting, like, I don't know. It, I mean, I'm pretty sure with it being Christmas coming up, people are going to be getting computers and stuff like that. And they're going to be playing this, uh, this Grand Theft Auto 4 since 5 won't be out on PC until, like, January, late January of next year. So anyways... You just walk straight down the hall and into this little office thing, and this is your player selector, or uniform selector, whatever. You can go through. Um, mine's a little bit weird because I have LAPD installed. Why is this hair red? Oh, that's interesting. All right. Anyway, so yeah, yours is going to be a little bit different unless you have the same exact mod, uh, mods on, which you probably don't. But anyways, left and right arrows changes the characters up and down, changes their appearance. You can fine-tune it here in a second. So you just hit enter or return, whatever you call it, want to call it, and you're going to head. So that sounds kind of weird. Anyways, left and right again selects the different models. Up and down will change the appearance, like facial hair, hair, stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go with this guy. I'm going to hit enter. And now his body. It's a little bit weird on this one. Like I said, this is the LAPD mod, so of course it's not the same as regular Grand Theft Auto. So you just kind of go through. Select whatever you want. Yeah, why not? And as soon as you select glasses or no glasses or hat, no hat, depending on whichever character you select. Some of them don't have glasses, some of them don't have hats, whatever. But anyways, this is optional right here. You can go into this room, and this is for a partner. So you walk into that chevron and hit E if you want the partner. Um, you can select them. It's the same as that thing as it was when you were selecting yourself. Um, same options and all that. And it's going to be the same kind of character. Like, I'm a regular cop. He's a regular cop. It wouldn't it wouldn't let you do, like, you being a regular cop and him being, like, a swatter or um, state trooper or something like that. Uh, so, anyways, you walk out that door which you came in, and it'll let you select your car. You can go through and select any car whatsoever that you want to drive that you have installed. I'm just going to go with the Crown Big here. All right. So, we've got that. And it might lag a little bit at first because it's just loading all the model. I mean, all the uh, yeah, all the car models. All right, so yeah, you just kind of wait for your partner if you if you did select a partner, um, and then you go ahead and what? Okay, so that's a world. That's what's called a world event. And basically, these things are going on. Yeah, that's him that they just called over the radio. So, anyways, I still in my car. What are you doing? No! <laughs> he took my car. That's the car that I drove up in. Alright, whatever. We're in pursuit. Um, so, basically, whenever there's a world event going on, your camera will focus on it and, like, show you what's going on. And they just happen randomly throughout the city. So, I, I just came out of the police station. There was one going on outside. So, anyways, it'll give you the option to join that pursuit by holding down E. And that's exactly what I did. So... Now he is on my map as a red blip, little circle thing. He has a red chevron over him. And there's other units that are going to be assisting me as soon as they come up, uh, get close enough, they're going to join me. Uh, so, of course, you have the 
uh, the freedom to choose however you want to take this. Like right now, I'm just kind of hanging back. I'm letting him do his thing until either he gets too dangerous or my backup will catch up to me. Hopefully, we're about to have some. Yeah, they are almost here. And as soon as I get up here, I'm going to try to pit him or do something. Yeah, he just hit a car, so we might go ahead and up this. Uh, upgrade to the... Or escalate the pursuit. Uh, this is another cool feature. If you hit, uh, what is it, F? Whoops, nope, that's not it. That's not it either. I'm trying to remember the button. Okay, it's F8. It'll give you this menu right up here at the top left. By default, I'm pretty sure that they're aggressive, the ground units are, and those are the cars and the uh, pedestrian, not like the officers that are on foot. I'm gonna switch them to passive by hitting enter. And basically, they're not gonna be like all over the top of him. But we've stopped him, so, uh, oh, for some reason, they are opening fire. Okay, so anyways, we, we point our weapon at him, and we tap, I tapped E, and that's going to, go into the arrest, um, arrest, whatever you want to call that, arrest animation. Uh, so you would walk up behind him, and it would automatically, you'd automatically handcuff him. Now you have the option to drive him yourself or call for a transport. I don't feel like transporting, so I'm just going to call for a prisoner tra prisoner transport. Um, okay, since I do have some other mods going on here that I have installed, I'm going to pull up my police helper here and call for a tow truck. I'll also have a link for these other mods that you see in the description. Uh, so there comes the tow truck. It's going to take this car, which is actually my car, but whatever. We're not going to hold any grudges. Have the okay, in custody. and the transport unit just took him. Anyways, so we are code four there. Uh, the transport unit has come and taken him, and that tow truck has just arrived and has removed our um, suspect's car, which was my car, but whatever. Not holding grudge. I'm not going to hold a grudge. Alright, so that is dispatch telling us on there's a shooting going street. on. Um, somebody's called it into 911. Okay, the area is safe. Disregard. So I'm assuming that another unit was close by and realized it was a fake call or something. Or they handled it. Whatever. So that one just got canceled. Now what is he doing? Is he in pursuit? Alright. I'm just going to help them out. Uh, I'm not sure who they're going after. Oh, they're going after this guy down here. So again, hold E. Yeah, so it's this guy right here. I'm not sure why I'm losing frames right now. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, it didn't give us any information. All I know is that there was a police pursuit going on with this guy. So, I think I've got him. Nope, not yet. So I'm going to hold down Alt and T. I'm going to try again. Alt, T. Or is it Control, T? No, it's not Control, T. What is it? Alt, T? It should be Alt, T. Okay, there we go. Alt-T is your taser. I'm going to get back in my car and try to catch up to him. Sorry, dude. I, I can't deal with you. You are not worthy of this uniform. I'm sorry. Got a killer here. You're complaining because your tummy hurts. <laughs> Alright, they've already got him. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you the taser. So you do Alt and T at the same time. And it's, your, it's in your pistol slot, so you have to have your pistol. That's what I was doing wrong. And then, just like a regular gun, you shoot him, and bam. Suspect neutralized. Well, not neutralized, but uh, subdued, I guess, would be the word. And then Alt-T again. We'll put it away, and it actually replaced my pistol, so I'm going to have to... Ah, shit. <laughs> what did I just do? Okay. Um, apparently, when I told it... I clicked the wrong button and told it to save that clip... And now I lost all of my textures, like the map. Um, Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good now. Uh, so yeah, if you do want this, this car pack, it's an actual entire pack that's just LAPD and LASD, which is the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. And it's a pretty cool pack. Um, you know, it has Crown Vic, obviously a Charger, uh, Suburban, you know, just a bunch of stuff, a bunch of cool... Wow, this guy right here is flying, reckless driving. So I'm going to initiate a pullover on him. Not sure what the hell his problem is. 
So I'm going to light him up and uh, tap the left shift. Actually, it still has us in that other pursuit. As you can see down there on the mini-map, there is a red dot still. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is uh, reload all my scripts by doing that. I don't think that did it. That did it. Okay. Oh, I misspelled reload. Okay. All right. And then force duty. I think that was it. Oh, there's my taser hanging out the door. That's just floating. All right. All right. Good enough. I'm not going <laughs> to. Oh, shit. Lady. Prostitute. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Get your ass up. Ah, shit. It's still not letting me. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so I just... Hey, stop. Stop. Stop it. Where the hell are you going? I'll tase you. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get my taser out here. Dude, homeless dude, get, it, get the hell out of the way. Alright, so the taser is out. I'm not in range, though. This guy is super fast. Did I hit him? Nope. I missed. I missed. Ah, uh, come on. So we are in foot pursuit right now of just some random guy running. I don't know why he's running. I'm hoping he's going to tire himself out. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is good because I, I was getting tired. Oh, shit. I missed. I think he just tried to pull a gun out. So I'm definitely going to get him on the ground before I deal with him here. All right, stop. Okay, we got him stopped. So you, once you have him stopped, you can hold down E uh, while you're pointed at him, and you'll get this menu. I'm going to investigate. First off, I'm going to frisk him, because I'm pretty sure I saw a weapon. So I definitely want to take care of that first, make sure I'm not in any danger while I'm doing anything else. So uh, why did I not give him my Desert Eagle? Okay, it's just not giving me the Desert Eagle for some reason. That's fine. So I'm not sure. I thought I saw him grabbing for something. So I am going to take it uh, careful here and frisk him first before I go any further with my investigation. Okay, you can go. I didn't find anything, so that's good for him. So I'm going to hold down E again while uh, selecting him. I'm going to investigate and ask for an ID. May I see your ID please? And since we are away from my car, uh, I have two options here. I could either go to my car, uh, pull up the computer, and check it on that. Or I can hold down E again while selecting him, go back to investigate suspect, and uh, tap F12 to do a radio check. Call it in, basically. I'm going to stop three times, no active warrants. I don't know what his deal is, though. I'm going to go ahead and place him under arrest. Um, well, not really arrest. I'm just detaining him is what, what I'm legally doing. Because I do have probable calls. I mean, he fled for no reason whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to drive myself. So what you can do now is you can walk up behind him and tap E. You have to be like right up against him, I think. Uh, it's being a little weird. Come on. Okay, there we go. It takes a second. And now we are actually taking him ourselves. Looks a little bit weird when you're running with him. <laughs> but, you know, it's all right. Yeah, my car is still right down here. It looks like I can see the light, so that's a good sign. So, you know, this is L uh, LCPDFR version 1.0C. I'm playing hardcore mode. Uh, in case any of you guys were wondering, I'm using Vision ENB. That's the ENB or graphics mod that I have installed. It's a very good graphics mod. It does require, um, I don't know, I mean, it is pretty heavy on your computer, though. Like, it does place a... a pretty decent amount of strain on it but I have the rest of, like I have the actual Grand Theft Auto 4 graphics settings I have them pretty much lower except for like resolution and model uh, texture or not not model texture but textures so you know not bad at all 
but Vision EMB definitely looks great, especially with ELS. I mean, there's no other EMB that I know of that looks this good. So I just let go of them. I'm going to hit E over here at the door to open up the door. And then I'm going to grab him again, uh, if I could. There we go. And take him to the door and hit E again to release him. And he is inside the car now. So we're ready to transport him to the station. I do kind of want to... Um... No, actually, I already, I already called it in, so I don't need to pull up the computer to check him. But if you do want to use the computer, you hit E. This, this is actually a modded background, so this isn't what it usually looks like. Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen what it's supposed to look like. This is actually, I think, uh, California Highway Patrol CHP. This is their car background, whatever. Their, their, um, their computer interface. So, you know, that's obviously different if you don't have that. Whoa. Okay. So I'm just, uh, just transporting him back. I'm still in Broker, so the same police station is going to be the same one that I'm going to take him to. Which I don't have a problem with because it is fairly close. Alright, so... Um, we're just going to take him to the alleyway. It's actually the same place that it... Dang, dude. You want to look out? Um, the same place that it spawned our car for like the car selector. It's back in this little alley beside it. And you just drive into this blue marker, and basically they're going to come and remove the um, detainee that or, or uh, criminal that you've arrested from your back seat. And he's inside the police station now. We don't have to worry about him. We can go back on patrol or do whatever. You know, I mean, it's pretty cool. So yeah, that was how to join a world event. How to uh, how to use the taser. How to do a pursuit. You know, just basically the the basics of LCPDFR. If you guys have any specific questions or anything that you want me to show you how to do in the game, such as how to put the pursuit menu, that's a, that's a key thing that not a lot of people know about. So that's, uh, you know, if you guys want to know any other stuff like that, be sure to leave a like. If you have any specific questions or comments, just leave them below and subscribe for more. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.